Hi folks, TJ here. What do I have this down here, this little white wonder? Uh, if you've been watching my channel, you know that the ZX80 was actually a computer that I considered buying back in 1980. I wanted to buy my first computer. It was between this and the Atari 800. In fact, if you're a Specky Next fan, in the first issue of the Next magazine, I have an introduction story because I have a column in that magazine. And I do chat about this little wee computer and my choice between it and the 800. You can go read that article. Uh, subscribe to that magazine if you're a Specky Next fan. Uh, I can't wait to get my copy. Anyway, today is the day to try the Chroma 80 interface. And I'm wondering if this Chroma 80 interface was available in 1980, if I would have changed my mind and purchased this instead of an Atari 800. I'm gonna say probably not, but we're gonna explore how the ZX80, uh, 40 some odd years later, can be a useful and fun computer in this day and age. The Chroma 80 is going to give this little computer a whole new ball wax of life. It's <laughs> terrible to say ball wax. Uh, woo. Okay, so uh, I'm going to explain how I've got this connected up. If you haven't, watch my unboxing video. I did an unboxing video of all the components that I received. This is going to be a multi-video uh, thing. So I'm going to do one video today on a first boot because even though I own the cartridge and other things... I don't have a serial port on my main computer uh, other than USB. And the cable that I received with this is an old-timey 9-pin whatever serial cable. So I need to buy a serial-to-USB adapter before I can explore Windows to then uh, put software on said cartridge. So we're going to make that a future video. Today's video is a, a what do you call it, a burn-in test, a smoke test to see if how I've connected this up works. So, what do we have? And I'll do a close-up here in a second, but ZX80, a United States version, because I'm in the United States, so this is an NTSC model. I have connected to it the Chroma 80 device. Now, I have not connected a joystick to it. I have not connected the serial cable to it, because, again, that's going to be future stuff. Although, I may plug in the joystick here, because this first test is going to be, a uh, again, a smoke test to make sure I've got video. And then I maybe leave it at that, and then maybe I'll make a second video on connecting up a cassette player to this because I have two games that need to be played. And I think I'm going to do the Rock Crush 80 game because in my reading in the back, it says it's got flicker-free high-res action for the 16K ZX80. Because this Chroma device gives this computer 16K of RAM with a 4K or 8K ROM. Uh, compatible with 16K ZX81. Uh, joystick support and color support for Chroma interface. So flicker-free high-res action for the 16K ZX80 with 4K or 8K ROM. So, I, uh, so yeah, uh, this is going to be fun. I may make this all one... Well, it, this video is already going to probably get between 10 and 15 minutes. So, okay. What else do I have? So I received with this a SCART cable. In the United States, SCART is not like toilet paper. It's not common. <laughs> uh, uh, so I, uh, uh, Paul, who I ordered this from, said, hey, if I pay you a little extra money, can you throw in a proper SCART cable? Because I don't have one. Only SCART cables I have are ones that go from a Specky to a SCART, you know, 8-pin DIN or whatever DIN to SCART. And that's not going to work on here. I needed a SCART to SCART cable because I've got to run this. And again, I'll show you close up in a moment. A SCART to HDMI adapter because, again, here in the United States, we don't have SCART uh, typically uh, unless it's a really oddball thing. And I've never seen one of those. So I'm doing a SCART to this converter, this converter to HDMI to a big screen monitor. This is not a TV. This is a monitor. Uh, so let me show you the close up. And then we'll turn this thing on because I don't know if this is going to all work. Uh, okay, so here is the beautiful, and you're going to see a little uh, shadowing because the light's way behind me. But here is the ZX80. Here is the Chroma device. I've let the dip switches stay as they are. I'll tinker with those later. Uh, there is the joystick port. On this side, there is a serial port, which I'll use at a later day. 
a little LED light on the top. No, no, that's not LED. That's a, a button, a reset or a push button. I've got to figure that out. This little door flap will open up and allow me to plug in the XC or whatever cartridge. Uh, this side is the SCART. And is there anything on the back? I forget. Uh, no. <laughs> okay, so SCART cable goes brrr, all the way around over to one of these generic, and I own a couple of these because early on, I needed to get Speckies to work with my monitors. So I have a couple of these, and they work generally fine. Uh, so this is a, a video converter from SCART to HDMI. You can do 720p or 1080p. And there's basically a cable, that's the HDMI that goes to the monitor. And then on this side is where the power cord and SCART connector connect. So let me make sure everything's connected firmly. Let me plug this back up here. And we're going to give this thing a whirl of a whirl. Uh, let me uh, adjust this, this stuff here because it's all over the place now. Okay, so I've got um, power cord connected. I'm using a, here in the United States, we had Timex Sinclair. So the uh, TS-1000 power supply, uh, or I shouldn't say that, but the power supply that came with the ZX80 is kind of weak. So he recommended a one amp power supply. I happen to own a Timex TS-1500 that has a one amp power supply. So that's what I'm using. And he said it should work fine. So I plugged it in. Everything's plugged in. This is plugged in. You can see it's got power. I need to turn on my monitor. And I'm going to bend underneath my table where all the cables from Mordor are down here. Or they should be, you know, monsters and snakes and ghouls and goblins. I'm going to plug in my power supply. You may see the video before I can get back up. Because when you get old, you can't get quite up uh, quick enough. <laughs> so, no signal. Okay. So, I'm going down here. Uh, three, two, one. Plugged in. Okay, look it up. Holy shit. Moses. So this this comes up. Uh, this is common for this. This comes up and tells me I'm um, SCART NTSC 1280 uh, by 1024 60 hertz. I've never seen a ZX81 <laughs> or a ZX80 uh, video that's this crisp and beautiful. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, so we're going to type a program. That's what you do when you first get a computer. Uh, your, your, your hello world thing. This looks gorgeous. If you watch all my ZX80 videos, you know that when I first got it, I connected it to a wee little 5-inch black and white monitor, and I couldn't get it quite right. I had to buy another one. I've got two or three little monitors now. I found one that did work. Uh, you had to really dial it in to get any video, but I got it, and I made a video. Now I've got a big old 34-inch TV or monitor. The K is big. <laughs> okay, let's make a program. Uh, let me focus in on the screen. Uh, focus. And I'm going to turn this lighting off back here. I'll get darker, uh, but the video should get crisper. I mean, you want to see this program. I, I guarantee it. Okay, I'm going to take off my glasses because I can't see shit. Okay, uh, 10, uh, uh Four A equal oh and it's funny on the ZX eighty to the ZX eighty one to the Spectrum to the Timex TS uh, uh, computers the twenty sixty eight fours and next and all the uh, quotes all different places you got to remember this stuff for A equal one oh god <laughs> where's the two oh oh it's the two on this one's above the four shift. Uh, two, ten. New line. So on this it says new line. <laughs> Instead of, you know, return or whatever. Uh, 20. Uh, print. <laughs> I'm surprised I'm finding it this quick. Print. Uh, oh, God. Oh, oh, where's the, qu the quotes? Uh, oh, it's above. It's on the Y key. Shift Y. Uh, hello. Like how the screen's flickering, but this is this is beautiful screen. Hello, a space, uh, ZX. Oh, no, I didn't do this. <laughs> rub out, rub out. There's rub out on this. Rub out, uh, rub out. Uh, hello, uh, what am I doing? Uh, hello, uh, space, uh, ZX 80, end quote. 
re new line. I got a new line. Okay, that looks good. And then a 30 uh, next A, right? A new line. So you can probably see this is crisper than crisp. Uh, this is beautiful. A uh, run. New line. ZX80. <laughs> Let's make that. Uh, oh, what's the list on this? <laughs> is there a list? Oh, God. How do you list a program on here? There's load. Uh, oh, here's list. <laughs> Uh, there you go. Uh, list on this one's on the A key. Uh, let's make it big and long. See how much flickering we get on the screen. So 10 uh, for A equal uh, 1, 2, 1,000. <laughs> We're going to throw a wrench in this son of a bee's weasels. Okay, uh, run. Let's see how much we can get on the screen. Oh, it stopped. 520. What's that? Say? Did, did it do it all? Or did it only do 20 of them? Uh, it couldn't have done all 1,000. Maybe. <laughs> no, this thing's got 16K RAM. I would have expected it to go much slower than that. Do I got to do 10,000? No, it says 5 or 20. What's 520 mean? 520. I don't know what that means. A list. Uh, where's the list again? Uh, list. For A equal 1 to 1,000. So I don't know if... It, let's just run it again. <laughs> Maybe I have to slow motion it, huh? 1, 2, 3, 4. <laughs> I don't... If I, whatever 5 or 20 means. I, I'm not that up to it. It either did all 1,000 or it's getting stuck at this quantity. I'm not sure which. But today's test is successful. I'm going to go back and see how long this video is. If it's not super long... I want to give this game some uh, credit, so maybe I'll make a separate video. But today, 2024, April, what the hell's today? Fifth. I mean, that's the number five. <laughs> I've successfully chromified, chromified 80 to my ZX80. Back in two, uh, 1980, when I went, oh, this looks crisp and clear. It's still black. There's still no sound. Uh, but you could colorize. And supposedly, I don't know if this game off the shoot will just colorize the heck out of something or if i'm only going to be able to do that when i load a game on the cartridge and tell it to colorize i know there's dip switches and on one of the dip switches i need to flick i think it's the number three dip switch to allow the uh extra port here the joystick port to work and i think maybe the color anyway this looks beautiful chroma 80 on a zx 80 2024 the world's just spicing up, and now I'm going to start using the ZX80 uh, a little bit more because I've got some fun stuff to do. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, I may call this one a wrap, post it up on the YouTubes, come back and make another video on playing this game. Now, uh, and then at a later time, uh, ZX80 Mazogs, we're going to have a blast. Thanks for watching. Bye.